Okay. So I have to get a confession out of the way. Like, Speech on. Stop recording. Yeah, great. Speech on. One, that recording. Perfect. Two. Um, why can't I get a girlfriend? I mean, it's like the world's hardest thing. I mean, I make fun of myself on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. I swear, when I'm old, I'm just gonna buy a 20-foot sign that says, Please date me! Like, okay, I'm not that dash. I, I was gonna say I wouldn't be that desperate, but probably I will. Um, okay, so Gabby gave me this idea. I'm just gonna, like... Like, it's weird. If I could you just say, oh, my friend Gabby Vish, but she's been in so many videos and I brought it up so many times, I feel like she's just, like, someone that you didn't actually know. I just don't know why I talked to her last night. But, um, so yeah, she gave me this idea. And with the third to all the boys uh, I love movie thing coming out, like, a week ago or something, uh, Gabby gave me this idea. So, Let's get into it. This is to all the girls I had a crush on. And I've only dated a small handful of them. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first crush I don't really remember having was my first year of fourth grade, because I did go through two years of fourth grade. Um, first one, uh, her name was Kaylee Fisher, and it was a, it was, it a weird, it, it's weird. So I had this crush on her. We were in... Like, in elementary school, you have the classrooms next to each other, so she was in the classroom right next to mine, and we would all have recess at the same time. And, who is my fourth grade team? Mrs. Gherardini and Mrs. Ewing, that's her name. Yeah, so our class, the classes were right next to each other. And so I saw that, had this crush on her or whatever, and she's like, no, LT, I don't like you or whatever. And we were over by the swing set, and I'm like, please? And she's like, no. I'm like, okay. And then she pulled the swing back and just hit me straight in the mouth. Like, dang, like, what the heck? I mean, it wasn't on purpose or anything, but I swear, my, that tooth would chip for a good four years, and then they picked it up the dentist. I'm like, no, I like it, but, yeah, whatever. But now whenever I, like, you ever go to, like, scratch your teeth? Not scratch your teeth. You have something caught in your teeth? Yeah, I feel like I'm going to pull the plast or the, the, the paste, whatever, that fits the tooth. I think I'm going to re-break it every time I go up there. Like, you can clearly tell there's a line. I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but I can clearly feel it with my tongue. And because I know it there with my finger, you can clearly tell I, uh, that there is like a crack there where they fixed it. So, yeah, that's the thank you, Kaylee. I appreciate it. Next one. Oh, boy. My ex girlfriend, Peyton Coleman. Can you even call her? I mean, it's... Weird. Elementary school was weird. I don't know. We dated like seven times, but can you even call it a date? And it's like, I don't know, 12 year old. It's weird. We got paint swaps over it where it's like, you're not supposed to talk relationships when you're 10. And uh, it was weird. And it, I remember one time we go to the same church. I was just sitting outside on the steps waiting for my dad, and she'd, and she'd like, it was like, I don't know, it was 7 o'clock at night, so it pitch black outside. She's standing in front of me, I'm sitting on the stairs, and she's like, I love you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and she's like, you're supposed to say it back. I'm like, I love you? And she's like, okay. And then the next day, I check my phone, she's like, uh, actually, I'm breaking up with you. I'm like, we're not even dating? Like, what? But, um, uh, I remember us having conversation, like, okay, we're gonna have kids, and she's gonna take care of the boy, and I'm gonna take care of the girl. And, why were we talking about this in fourth grade? This is my second year of fourth grade, but, why? Um, that's just, that's just, cre not creepy? Weird to have no conversations at 12 years old. Uh, okay, next one, in fifth grade. Oh, boy. This girl named Jalen Stanley, um, she never liked me back. <laughs> That's shocker. But, uh, she never liked me back, and it was one of those where, like, I liked her and everything. But I just remember, like, I guess it was one of those open secrets where I have a crush on her. And, um, since, like, I can't write in print, I got to pick someone to write my answer, and I picked this girl named Sage, who I'll talk about more in a second. But I'd rather pick the girl that's smart over the girl that I like. So I picked Sage, because she was super smart, and I remember it paying off, because she's like, okay, I already got the first two done. I'm like, dang, I made a great choice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was, that was <laughs> but Jalen, it was, it was weird. It's like, she called me a D-nut. 
a dean nut. What is a dean nut? I don't know. Like D E A N N U T. What is a dean? What that fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, six years later, I'm still trying to figure out what a dean nut is. Is that a doofus? Like I, I, it would, it was the last day of school, and we got to sit by whoever we wanted to on the bus. And so me and her sat together, and there was this third grader. I forget her name. But, like, so on one side, you have me and Jamie, who are in fifth grade, this third-year-old, third-year-old, third grader sitting on the other side. And she's like, oh, uh, LT, I don't like you like that. I'm like, okay, then I'll see you next year in August when we're in sixth grade. She gave me a hug, so I, at least I got a hug. Uh, and then I'm, and she's like, I'm such a dean nut. What's a dean nut? I never figured out why she called me that. I think I even asked her later, and she's like, I don't know. But thanks for calling me a dean nut. But... Back to the previously mentioned, uh, Sage Owens is her name. Uh, it would weird. It would, it would one of those things where I not, like, had a crush on her and more just asked her out, like, do you have a boyfriend? No. Do you want one? She's like, no. And she's like, I knew you were asking me out by the first question. I'm like, oh, yeah, darn it. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, that's about how it, how it goes. You know, trying to be smooth in sixth grade. That, that, that's how everyone were asking, asking each other out in sixth grade. Uh, but yeah, it's getting rejected once again. Next, shocker, seventh grade. I had a thing for Jalen again. The same girl. It was weird. It was super, it was awkward as heck. Um, a couple things. It's like, oh, boy, you can't blush. It's about your blushing now. And it would, it was super awkward conversations. And I remember this one time, we were in the library. And I was sitting with my friend Sarah, who had a crush on me, but I didn't like her. My ex-girlfriend Peyton. And then we're all playing Uno. And then Jalen comes over, the girl I currently like. And it was awkward. And they, like, plugged their ears in it so we could have a private conversation, even though those two are sitting right there. It was weird. It was really weird. And she, it, it, yeah, yeah that, that, that never worked out. She never dated me. That was, yeah, that was, that was, that was great. Okay, so now I'm going to my second girlfriend. Her name was Bailey Dyer. And it was like, what, 22 days long or something? It was the best relationship of my life in, in, in 22. Yeah, that's saying something. Just over three weeks. Barely over three weeks. Um, It was it was some weird stuff. We would talk. We had a neutral friend named Isabel. And um, we were, I remember us being outside. It was October. We were outside. And I was saying how, this was 8th grade. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to take driver's ed next year. And they're like, so since you're in driver's ed, can you drive? And everyone was mad at her because apparently you shouldn't ask the visually impaired kid if he can drive. I wasn't mad at her. But it seemed like everyone was giving her crap. Um... But it it was it was it was that but uh we um it oh my god it was it was awkward and real embarrassing. I like she came over and she's like, Oh, so Isabel has it said there's something you wanted to tell me, yeah. Will you be my girlfriend? And she's like, Yeah and I'm like, Yay Like I stood in my arms like, Yay like what are you supposed to do post asking someone out? Are you supposed to hug, Are you supposed to kiss? You're supposed to do an awkward Yay, oh, whatever, you know, don't do the awkward yay thing, never, like, I am not done that since, I also haven't had a girlfriend, so, technically, well, but, uh, I remember she going to the school dance together, and she's like, I'm breaking up with you, and for some reason, I just cried, I went to the other side of the gym, and then Justin Bieber's, uh, friend, like, the song Friend came on, and she's like, well, she just broke up with me, and she's like, you still want to be friend, and she's like, oh, that was a mean prank, and, uh, yeah, it was it was awkward. Cause, wow, I was four seven. She's five foot eight in eighth grade, and it was really weird. But I danced with her, so that was fun at least. Um, and then like I guess technically we kissed, but you can even call it. It was like a half of a millisecond. I don't even remember it. It's like one second you go to kiss, the next like just something just happened. I don't even remember it. It it was it was weird. Anyway, when we move on to ninth grade, um, my friend Sydney, yeah, this is gonna be an, a doozy. Okay, so we dated from May thirty first to September second, uh, twenty eighteen, and it was it was 
it was weird. I don't think either of us ever, like, it was like we were friends the whole time, but we never, but, like, we just called it dating. Like, one day we were just testing, she put a red heart at the end of her message, and I'm like, oh, what's that for? She's like, oh, I sort of like them. I'm like, well, here's the chance to get a girlfriend, I like you too. And it was, like, at 10.45 at night, and we called it dating, and, yeah, I, I took it way too far, like, for 15 and 12-year-old, that's just, it's like, oh, morning beautiful, and she's like, you shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff, we're only 12 and 15, I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Looking back at hindsight, yeah, that was totally weird. And then, she tried to break up with me one time, and I'm like, oh, I can't turn my feelings for you off, and I'm like a light switch, because that was, that was totally the thing people said in 2018. Um, and then, yeah, she, the first time she, and then, like, the second time, on uh, September 2nd, it was 9.02 p.m., coming back from Springfield, Illinois, oh, no, which I got movie king. Why do I remember this in such vivid detail? Um, she texted me, like, hey, you just want to be friends. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, o I'm over this. I'm over this. You just want to be friends? Sure. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at her. She wanted to date me, like, December 31st, 2020, and that, that we're still friends. Talked to her last Monday, last Tuesday, I think. So, uh... Yeah, she came over to my house also a couple weeks ago, so. Yeah, that was in ninth grade. That was just real awkward. Okay, so now we have my friend Grace. And this is example 101 of how not to have a crush on someone. You start talking to them in January. Oh, it was, no, December 23rd. Why do I remember that so well, too? December 23rd. 30, 20, December 23rd, when I really know that we started talking every day after band class, she played the clarinet, I played trumpet, so it was, it was, um, it was fun, and then, um, I noticed how we would talk and stuff like that, she came over one time in band when we were watching The Greatest Showman and sat next to me, I'm like, this is really cool, um, and then, the weird, it was, it was weird, that was, Oh, that my freshman slash sophomore year? Yeah, yeah, okay, and it was, so the second semester of my freshman year, and the first semester of my, so, of my, sophomore, yeah, second semester of my freshman, first semester of my sophomore, um, I had this question, it was a year-long crush, it was a weird thing, I sat next to her every day at lunch, she would help me at lunch, get my food and everything, we would talk, um, we, uh, I remember what, I went to her birthday, her 16th birthday party in July, I went to her Montuno in October, um, I got a Christmas gift, and then, boom, it's like, it was weird, because I posted on Facebook how I went to a Montuno, and our counselor, our, like, our counselor, like, my school counselor, saw one of my posts, told Grace, Grace is like, so LT, I like, like you, but not like you like that, like, like, see, like, friends, like, like, yeah, you basically, yeah, the like talk, we're like, you know what I mean, like, yeah, you, you don't like me, okay, great, but, you know, wasted an entire year for nothing, <laughs> I mean, I didn't just go to her mom's funeral and her birthday party just to be like, I want to date her, but I genuinely was her friend and everything, but it was, it would be, I knew it was over when she had a crush on the kid named Alex, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't, yeah, this isn't gonna work. But, um, yeah, stupid me. So, don't just sit there for an entire year wasting it. Um, I, I told myself I'm not gonna give it, like, I don't know, a week, two weeks, and be like, if I legitimately think I have a shot with this person, and they might actually want to date me, then, yeah, I will ask them instead of waiting an entire calendar year doing nothing. Uh... Okay, the next one is weird. It's like my friend Anya, but like, I didn't like have a crush crush on her. It's sort of one of those things where like, well, we'll see where this goes. And then apparently, what is that? What was it? Like, not even four years, three and a half years. Technically, it's too much of an age difference at my school. And we're like, oh, you can go to jail for that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Peace. I did not like her. I mean, like, pushed away every attempt she tried to make. And it was, it was, it was a weird, that was a weird situation. The last one, um, my friend Michaela. It's not even a crush, more of a fantasy. You know how, like, if I could go out with this person and they actually said yes, then that'd be, like, the best thing ever. But, you know. I asked her to be my Valentine, and she she rejected me. So great. Um, yeah, that's 
about it. I remember having this, uh, not even a crush. I think I had a crush on my friend Hannah Grace in fourth grade. I think I liked her. I think I liked. Oh darn it! I just had I had one when I was talking, but I forget it. But uh, yeah. And then if we're talking about celebrity crushes, we got Millie Bobby Brown. She she's the best. Alexa Bliss is super hot, and Ariana Grande. You know, cause everyone loves Ariana Grande. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's all the to all the girls I had a crush on, and only three of them dated me, and none of them lasted for very long. So I hope this tells you why my love life is so depressing. Now I'm gonna go cry or record another video. Yeah, probably the second one. Yeah. Bye.